All right, so let's just dive right in this article. Found this today up on Digital Spy. And it's uh, it's got it's pretty short and sweet, but it's got some good information. So when it was announced, Leonard Wachowski was bringing back Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss for a fourth Matrix movie, the internet reacted well as you'd expect. Since then, speculation has run rampant. Along with said speculation, however, a few details have been made public. And the closer we get to filming beginning, the more details will be released. So what do we know and what can we glean from the news so far? All right, so here's the cast. When Warner Brother Brothers officially confirmed the fourth Matrix movie, they also announced that Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss would be reprising their roles as Neo and Trinity, but the rest of the cast list was thin until now. Bump ba da ba. These three are confirmed. Neil Patrick Harris of How I Met Your Mother fame has signed on to the cast for a significant role. What exactly this role is, however, is being kept under wraps by both Wachowski and NPH. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is that he has such a great, uh, I guess, his, his ability to act as antagonist, protagonist, he has a great range. So I... I, there's a part of me that really wants him to be a bad guy. I think like a Smith 2.0. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. I don't really know, but I just want him to be bad. I think that would be um, a very, I think it'd be a very unique choice for him. And I know he could nail that. So that's what I'm hoping for. And then uh, we've got Marvel star. And it's funny, I think they're pulling a lot of people from Marvel for these roles because here we go. These two. I'm like, okay, well, who else are they going to bring on board? Probably from Marvel. I think there was some speculation about Michael uh, B. Jordan as well, but these two are confirmed. Uh, Marvel star Jessica Henwick is in talks to play a leading role. You'll recognize her from the Netflix series Iron Fist. We won't go there. But who she'll play in the Matrix for Quill is still a mystery. Also from the Marvel Universe, though not the MCU, is Venom star Yaya, uh, or Yaha. I can't ever say his name right. Yaha or Yaya? Abdul Mateen II. He also starred in The Greatest Showman and will feature in HBO's TV series adaption of Watchmen. In addition, it has been reported that Jada Pinkett Smith is in talks to return to the role of Niobe, which I'm excited about. I loved her as Niobe. I think she she commanded that role so well uh very believable she is a badass on screen and um i think she needs a redemption role because i did not like her on gotham did y'all see her on gotham she was like uh fish it was didn't do anything for her i didn't think so i would love to see her as niobe again i think she's she was great there it, it would be redemption for her who played in the matrix reloaded and matrix revolutions all right so which pill are we swallowing now <laughs> such a funny title <laughs> for the sex part uh lana wachowski announced many of the ideas sister lily wachowski and i explored 20 years ago and by the way if y'all didn't know the wachowski brothers are now the wachowski sisters they are the same um duo that did the original uh, trilogy and now they are doing the uh the fourth one but they're sisters now and so i'm wondering what differences because there's been a lot of time that has changed <laughs> a lot of things between the the um the trilogy and today and i'm just wondering how many differences are going to be in the stylization the tone I'm really hoping that there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, stuff that just brings you back to that original um, space because it was so unique. It was very um, the themes were just it just it felt very uh, you felt immersed in that in that world. And I really hope that they continue with that um, with this new part of it. So, oh, and the other thing too, real quick, just a little tidbit. I, I know a lot of people love John Wick. And one of the things that I really enjoyed about John Wick was the action scenes and how realistic they are. And sorry to go on a tangent about John Wick, but there is some relevancy here. It turns out that the stuntmen who uh, were helping Keanu train for the Matrix are the directors for John Wick. So they have, that's why you see a lot of the same characters uh, through those two movies 
movies. Um, it's just kind of interesting. They uh, have such a great knowledge of realistic action sequences. And uh, you can see how well they were able to put that um, on screen in John Wick. So um, yeah, there's just been a lot of great stuff that's come out of the Matrix. So I'm hoping that the Wachowski sisters can really just harness all that back in. Um, she said that they're, they explored 20 years ago and in the re, uh, in our reality are even more relevant now. I'm very happy to work. Or I'm very happy to have these characters back in my life and grateful for another chance to work with my brilliant friends. We have no idea what ideas these might be, but we've rounded up some of our best and barkingest. Yeah, when I saw that, I was confused. Barkingest. That is what it says. Plots for you. The screenplay will be co-written by Wachowski and the Lazarus Project author Alexander Hemmen and writer Cloud Atlas author David Mitchell. So you can bet it will be, that was a great word, dense, <laughs> which it should be because there is a lot to unpack in this world. It has to be dense. Otherwise, it's not going to be fulfilling. It's going to be shallow. It's going to be a shell and it's not going to have any guts. So I want it to be dense, maybe not quite Cloud Atlas dense, but but that's OK. That's OK. I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm just happy that they're bringing all this back. So when will it come back? Uh, there's been no official release date as of yet, but production is scheduled to start in February of 2020 in Chicago. And as for a trailer, well, that's even further away. All right, so anyway, I just wanted to um, pop this up on my channel and see what you guys thought. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, are you interested in the Matrix series being reprised? Are you happy that Keanu's back in it? Do you think that Lawrence Fishburne is gonna make an appearance? I don't think he is, but maybe he will be. Uh, I was thinking perhaps the Michael B. Jordan rumor might be that he might play a young Morpheus. So um, tell me what you guys think. Um, I, 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 oh, and do you think that the time lapse between the two is going to have any significant changes in the world uh, of the Matrix? So thanks for stopping by again. I really appreciate it. If you want to, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. That would mean a lot to me. Uh, I appreciate all the support on this channel, and I look forward to bringing you more content soon. You guys have a great day.